welcome fellow folders and if you can't already tell from the video here we have the next origami PO box unboxing about to happen we did the last one in a live stream for uh, when I was folding the 3.5 and we got a Ryujin live while folding that is absolutely amazing but anyway here is the package if you don't already the address that you can use to send me things is right here, it's on the screen, it's in the description. Make sure to take a note of it. If you do plan to send me something, use that address and you'll get your own personalised video. So here we have the package. Um, I don't think it's going to be a model, but I could be wrong. The last time I got a parcel that was flat, um, I had the model inside it. So I'm going to guess that uh, it's probably paper of some sort, I can't really tell, it does feel quite thick, especially at the left hand side, so maybe more um, at, at either end, but anyway we have, I'm just, I'm just so excited, this is the best part because I am completely unaware of what I, I'm about to receive from some very kind person, which I will let you know who it is after we unbox everything. Hopefully they have included something to let me know who it is, but I'm pretty sure the person who sent this will see the video. So if they haven't then they can make themselves. They can let me know, but yeah, without further ado, let's open this and see what we have. I've also got my uh, macro lens on, so in case I need to show anything in detail I can just come up uh, super close and it will go in focus. I think it's a really good lens to use to film. Um, I don't do it that often, I normally just use the default one for videos like this um, because I can zoom in really nice and quick. Yeah, I don't think I need scissors. I brought them just in case but I don't think we need them. In fact, we actually might need them. Yeah, let's use them. Let's use them. If I can use them. Let's cut this part. No, that's not going to work. Let me just cut it like this. There we go. I think it's good for a change that it isn't extremely precisely wrapped like all the other ones. It's much more easier to open. Here we go. What do we have inside? Let me quickly look to make sure. Okay, we have a letter. What? It's like a folder. Oh, it's a folder of some sort. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Let me quickly see what it says. It's got writing on the other side, so let me uh, read what it says first in case it has an address or anything on it whatsoever. No, it doesn't say. Okay, so it doesn't say. So let me read what it says and then we'll, we will open it. So we have Tarantula, Robert Lang's Opus 406. Hello, Fearless Flourish. Now, before I continue, I just want to say I can finally read this handwriting. I know I've had uh, troubles in the past reading people's handwriting because it's so unique, it's so different, but I think I can read this. Hello Fearless Flourish, have you considered pre-creasing the three unsinks of steps 17, 18 and 19? Maybe for Robert Lang's tarantula. Pre-crease a rabbit ear at step 8, then fold steps 9, 10 and 11. C, sheet 1 enclosed. Okay, we have something enclosed inside, let's see what that is. Reinforce all relevant mountain and valley folds. Collapse crease pattern forming the shape created by the three unsinks. See sheet three enclosed. Oh, okay, okay. This is, this is sound, uh, really fun. Continue folding. See sheet four enclosed. I think this is kind, kinder on the paper. Opinions may vary. Best wishes, another folder. How nice is that? <laughs> is basically instructions and, and how, on how to do whatever has been asked 
and included on the inside. Yeah, and that's really neat handwriting. Much nicer than mine, that's for sure. I'm going to just show you that. So thank you so much um, for writing that message. Now let's see. Uh, I'll open it like a book. So let's take off these parts. So we have masking tape, so it should be nice and easy to take off. Wait, before I continue, let's get some pictures. Wow, that, that comes off so good. I'm really curious to see what we have in here. Must be something to do with Lang's tarantula. Maybe we have a pre-creased sheet of it. Maybe we have tips on how to do each part. So let's find out. Okay, right, what do we have here? Sheet number one. Let's go back to what it says. If I can flip it over. Right, let me take it off this part. Yeah. So pre-crease a rabbit ear at step eight and then fold steps nine, ten and eleven. C sheet one. Here is okay we have a few. Like this is this is pretty neat. I'm really liking this. It's okay, okay, so sheet one, pre-crease, uh, unsinks, unfold, collapse. Yeah, so you can do those. Oh they've already made them. <laughs> That's nice. That's so nice. Okay. This is so cool, we have basically a, a much better improved way of making the uh, Lang's tarantula. I need, I need to get pictures of this. I need to get pictures of this, it's definitely going on my page. Wow, these pictures are so good. How cool is that? So sheet one, yeah. So pre-crease, unsynced, unfold and collapse. So you could do that. And then number two, unfold all to step seven. Re-enforce all creases, collapse, crease pattern forming the, the shape created by the three unsinks. See sheet number three, which we have here. Okay, so you're going to collapse that first. Yeah, 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 I, I know, I know. Yeah. And continue folding, C sheet number four. And this is number two, number four, here we go, okay. So, yeah, yeah, now I understand. You would collapse this, uh, pre crease this first, unfold it, make all the sinks relevant. Wait, did I miss number four? Did you say number two? Um, C sheet three, four. See sheet one, maybe miss number two, maybe. No, this is where we reinforce the creases. Ah, <laughs> that's so that. How nice is that? Need to get a picture of this. That's so cool. I just things like this really intrigue me. As having the creases coloured in, having notes all about to, to explain things better, and he's put. Oh, I'm, not, I'm saying he's, I don't know who this is because they have put another folder so they maybe want to keep their identity a secret which is perfectly fine they put a nice video uh, that, that is a really nice touch, thank you so much and they've, they've drew me and I look absolutely gorgeous How good do I look? I look so good Okay, um, Tarantula, Robert Lang's Unsinks Purple as Valley Green equals mountain, so we have the valley fold and mountain fold. A to three, A B to C, D folds up to A point. R, oh, so even got the markings creased as well, and then etc. Uh, reminds me of Jack Sonny's uh, Jack Stone. Yeah. Unfold now collapse the crease pattern. So it's making these creases on the inside, which you don't. Um, do, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, trying to think what you do, yeah you would fold that down and then you would fold these over and then you would collapse like that, yeah, 
that, that, that's what you would do. So the better way is to once you get here, crease them, then collapse, and then continue with the folding. So that is a much that I never thought of that actually. You know, I'm the type to pre-crease everything in advance, but because this has a sequence when I made it, I never did it. I never thought about doing this. Um, but yeah, that that's really nice. I'm so happy that yeah, you sent this. I mean, it's showing something to me that I wouldn't have thought of. Okay, so this is so cool. This is so cool. We have basically instructions. How cool is this? You know what? This is not what I was expecting to receive. It's just, it's so unique. Um, it's completely caught me off guard. I was expecting paper because it was, it was flat, not uh, instructions on how to do something a completely different way and to make it easier. Just so much work is involved just to get all this. I don't think I've shown all this close up. So maybe those that are watching, you can use this to help make your tarantula. Um, so you would, of course, I'll go over it again, you would get to this point uh, when you fold, you would pre-crease the unsinks, unfold it, form all the creases, and then re-collapse. So you would make these two, so the bisectors. You would unfold it to here, you would form all the creases to what they should be, purple as valley, green as mountain. And then you would re-collapse to, yeah, you would collapse it. So you use the creases here to form the basic, is that focus? Yeah, there we go. To get that sequence. And then you would continue to collapse it as you normally would and it's so nicely folded it's so unique it's so precise i'm just in sheer awe that i have this this is so nice and funny thing is this is the only model that i can make from memory as lang's tarantula i've done it so many times in the past and it's just such a unique and nice model so thank you so much to whoever sent me this. Of course you don't want to reveal your name, but just perfectly fine. And um, let me take this camera down. I want to try and get it in a different show up in a bit more detail. So thank you so much for that the nice letter. And your handwriting is amazing. It's so nice. I can't write in capital letters, I really can't. And definitely not this precise as well. Move this tripod out of the way. So we have such cool things. And I really appreciate you taking the time to do all this, to go through the stages and instructions on how to make um, pre-creasing the unsinks. So I definitely didn't consider pre-creasing the sinks. Um, if I do make it again, I definitely will. I will follow your guide because it's quite tricky to make these sinks, especially when you are the, at the position that you need to unsink. The paper is quite compact like this, so there's not really that much leeway in terms of how much paper you can pull out to try and get it nice and neat. So definitely a really good tip for anyone else that is going to fold it, follow those tips that this generous person has carefully written out and especially taking their time to draw the mini diagrams to help. So thank you so much. I really appreciate the effort that you have went into making all this and sending it to me. Thank you so much and I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing video. Now if you do plan to send something, thank you so much if you do and I will see you all in the next video.